everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did this smoky eye look. I've been really loving how this looks. So just keep watching if you want to see how I did this makeup look for fall. To save time, I've already done my base and my brows. I used Pony FX Ultimate Prep Primer to prime my face and Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm in the color Light Beige. And for my brows, of course, my trusty um, Anastasia Eyebrow Pomade and I'm in the color Soft Brown. So let's get started on the eyes. I already primed my eyes with Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance. I'm going to be using Jouer's Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I got this um, when I went to Gen Beauty, so I'm not sure if it's out yet, but I will leave a link down below if it is. I'm going to start off with this color right here. It's called Sand, and it's a shimmery, very light rose gold kind of color, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques uh, base shadow brush. Just going to take a little bit and spread it loosely over the eyelid. I'm just using this as a base. I need a little bit of shimmer to help blend the mattes out. So that's why I'm adding this very loosely and not being very careful about it because just need a good neutral base to work with. Next I'm going to take this e.l.f. Uh, defining eye brush and I'm going to take this color right here which I think it's called Desert. Also I have a band-aid on my finger right now because I was cleaning my beauty blender and somehow I scraped my finger off of the the bottle that holds the cleanser for the beauty blender and it just scraped off like a tiny chunk of skin and it was bleeding quite a bit so I have that there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take this really light orange color and just put it in the inner corner. Again, not really being precise with it, just trying to pack on that color because later we're going to blend it out. Next I'm going to take this darker orange color which is called Sepia. And I'm just going to apply that on the outer half of my eye using the same brush from earlier. So I'm just trying to create a gradient from the light orange to this uh, terracotta color. With monolids, I do a ton of blending. So I'm going to go back to the Real Techniques brush I used earlier for the base color and I use this to blend out the lines because they're a little bit harsh right now. I started blending from the outer corner. Usually I think it's best to start from the inner corner, but I just forgot. <laughs> so I, when I go to the inner corner, I'm gonna wanna clean this brush so that it doesn't just blend into one color later. So now I'm going to take this Luxie 151 brush. Um, it's called Mini Flat, and it's really tiny, which I really like because it works well for my tiny eyes. I think the Luxie Mini eye brush sets are really good for monolids because it just gives you more control. Like a lot of the other brushes I have are so ginormous that it's really hard to use and a little bit intimidating. So if you're starting out, I would definitely recommend getting these. So with this brush, I'm going to take this color now uh, called Dark Chocolate and concentrate it in the outer corner of my eyes again. If you look at this brush, it's actually angled, it's slanted. So what I like to do is take the higher end of that brush and align that with the corner of my eyelid and just sweep upward. Then I'm taking my fluffy brush again, the same one from before, and blending the outer corner again towards the brow bone. Now I want to make it even darker and smokier, so I'm going to take this color called Licorice. It's just a black color. Same angled brush again from Lexi. I'm going to do that same sweeping motion. It kind of looks a bit crazy right now, but we'll blend it out. Again, same fluffy brush to blend out that black color. Now I'm going to add some shadow to my lower lash line, but I'm going to clean it up really quickly because there was some fallout. The way that I like to clean up the bottom is just to take your eye primer and a Q-tip. So I just put that on the back of my hand, grab the Q-tip, get some primer on there and Clean that up. Okay, now I'm taking this brush by Veramona. I actually have no idea where I got it from, but it's just a pretty stiff, rounded brush, 
and I'm going to use that to um, add some shadow to the lower lash line. So I'm going to take the dark chocolate color again. So I'm going to just line the outer half of my bottom lash line. The reason that I don't use black for the bottom lash line is because for my eye shape and for my own personal experience, if the bottom is too heavy, it kind of overpowers the uh, shadows and the makeup that you have on top. So I try not to do too much on the bottom and not to make it too heavy. Now I'm going to take um, one of these two colors on the inner corner, but I can't decide which one yet. So I think I'm going to do, let's just go for the terracotta color. Um, I'm going to grab that on this brush also and just apply that to the inner corner. I'm blending it together so that it's not just like two harsh colors meeting in the middle, but it's more of a smooth transition. Now I'm just taking my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm going to um, draw a winged liner on my eyelids. I always do a winged liner, I think that's the most flattering on me. So now I'm actually going to switch off to a different eyeliner pen. This one is called Essence, and I'm going to actually use this one to fill in the winged liner because this stuff is strong. It's waterproof and it's been staying pretty well. I'm gonna give that liner a little bit of time to dry before I do mascara. So now I'm going to add some concealer underneath my eyes. I'm going to use IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Karen actually introduced me to this, and um, I really like it. And this color is medium. Just start using my fingers to rub that in. I really like doing this because it really defines your eye even further, especially the under eye colors. It makes it stand out a little bit more. Now I'm going to conceal just a little bit more so that the under eye concealer blends more with my foundation and I'm going to use a mixture of these two concealers uh, by Too Faced also born this way in medium and light medium. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it all together. Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> uh, I'm going to powder with this Pony Effect uh, finishing powder. I'm pretty sure the eyeliner's dry. I'm just going to add on mascara and finish up the eye look. Maybelline Falsies mascara. That's pretty much done for the eyes. Now I'm going to move on to bronzer, blush, highlight, and then we'll be done. I'm just going to use this. A City Color B Matte Bronzer. It's alright, like, not my favorite, but it'll do. And I'm using my Real Techniques uh, Contour Brush. Also going to do a little bit down the nose, very slightly. For blush, I'm going to use my favorite Coralista. Now to move on to highlights. Oh, and lip color. Lip color would be the last thing. Totally forgot about that. Uh, for highlight, I'm going to be using Ofra. It's called Rodeo Drive, and I haven't used this yet, so we'll see how this goes with this look. It looks really pretty. So I'm going to use my ring fingers to pick up the highlight to add underneath the brow bone. Now to add it a little bit down the nose to highlight the tops of my cheeks, I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush brush. Wow, it looks really pretty. I feel really golden. I don't know if it's picking up. My lips look so freaking dry right now. Sorry if it's been distracting. I have really dry lips for some reason. I'm also going to highlight my cupid's bow. For my lip color, I'm going to do a nude color because I want a lot of the attention on the eyes. So I'm going to use this pale pink Oh my gosh, I'm almost out. I need to get some more. It's this uh, pale pink color by Bite, and it's called Cafe. I've been really loving this color. I actually really love the formula of this lip color because it's really creamy and easy to spread around. 
So this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really like it, but obviously I'm biased. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And if you recreate this look, tweet me or tag me in your photo so I can see it. I'd love to see how you do your own smoky eye. And if you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, I will leave my links down below in the description box, as always. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!